Hello, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, my name is Heidi. I'm a homeschool mama of four boys, but actively um, homeschooling three. So if you're new, I would hope that you would subscribe and stay connected with me. I love sharing all about my homeschool here and I'm excited that you're here. So today is an awesome video because I'm excited that I'm collaborating with three other homeschool mamas that I adore and I'm gonna link their channels down below in their videos. We are doing all about homeschool styles. We're talking all about homeschool styles and why ours are different, why does it work for us and so forth. And so if you're a new homeschooler, this will be great for you to watch so you can see all the different kinds of homeschooling styles that are out there. Kind of do your research on more homeschooling styles and see where you fit best. So I'll be talking to you about your studies. But do check out my sweet mamas, let me mention them. I have Shalise from Sad Buster Living. She's gonna be sharing all about the Charlotte Mason approach because she has been using the Charlotte Mason approach with her in her homeschool. And in the last year or so, things have changed, but she's always been a Charlotte Mason inspired homeschooler. So do check her out for that. Then I have Ryan from On Mama On Mission. And Ryan will be sharing all about classical homeschooling. How does that work for her family and why she prefers that approach and then i have lindsay from mama schmooze homeschool reviews and lindsay's going to be sharing all about how eclectic works for her so for me eclectic worked for me for the first four or five years and it was great i loved it i love different approaches and i couldn't pick one um but i will be telling you all about my journey and how i got to um unit studies Okay, so I first want to start with sharing a definition, a quick definition of unit study or the unit study approach. So it says here, a unit study approach takes a topic and lives with it for a period of time, integrating science, social studies, language arts, geography, and fine arts as they apply. And then, for example, if you have a unit study on animals, it would include reading stories uh, like Charlotte May, I'm sorry, Charlotte Webb book, then doing arts and crafts about animals, going to a zoo, uh, research and science that has to do with animals and so forth. So it's kind of like all encompassing one theme in all the subjects. That's pretty much what it is. So what I like about unit studies and why um, it has worked for me is that I'm very arts and crafty kind of mama. So I guess off the, t off the bat, I would say if you're not an arts and crafty kind of mama, it might be a little harder for you because this is a hands-on approach as well. It's not just um, a unit study approach where you read, but the whole purpose of unit study is also to do a little bit more, um, you know, kind of like peeling an onion. I say this all the time. You are kind of dissecting the theme. You're dissecting it in all kinds of ways and you're doing science projects. You're reading books about it. You're doing arts. You're doing hands in, hands on activities and crafts and so forth. So. Um, you can def definitely work it through the different styles of learning with your children and so forth. Now, when I first started homeschooling, I started an eclectic approach. I like to use different, um, I actually, I'm going to say I actually started in a traditional approach, very textbooky. I ordered uh, a one box curriculum and we just did the curriculum. We just did, uh, you know, what it was told to us and I followed the manual and so forth. As I started learning more about different homeschoolers and how there's different approaches, I started kind of like spilling more into eclectic. I wanted to use a Charlotte Mason inspired approach along with a traditional approach and I pretty much ended up with an eclectic approach, a little bit of everything. So along the way, um, about I would say three or four years ago, I started doing unit studies during my morning time basket because I wanted to do a little bit more fun with my kids. I felt like doing language arts, math, um, and science, you know, throughout the day in history, it just was not bringing a lot of fun. We were kind of like just reading test books, answering questions and stuff like that. It wasn't a lot of fun. So I wanted to bring more fun with, um, into my kids, uh, day. And back then it's just what I thought would work doing unit studies, kind of like doing lap books, um, diving into a theme and kind of um, reading books about it, doing arts and crafts about it. And little by little, I started really loving that style of teaching. And so about a year and a half ago, I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna start doing my own units. And I kind of started thinking of themes and how to go about 
creating my own unit studies. And it was a little hard. It required a lot of planning in my part um, and so forth, but I really did enjoy it. And again, it really catered to my style of teaching. So I think that that's the most important thing I want you to get out of this video and this video series is that as a homeschool mom, you want to enjoy teaching. So you're not going to enjoy teaching if you don't really tap into your style of teaching, how you like teaching your kids, how you enjoy teaching your kids. So I have friends that love reading books. So they are more a Charlotte Mason approach. They love just diving into different types of books and the outside nature. That's all Charlotte Mason. Um, they love that. They love... Um, building um a curriculum through books in my sense i love reading but i also like doing things with my hands with my kids i like uh show and tell kind of thing i like um, visuals videos um arts and crafts science projects and so forth so all that works really well with the unit study approach and so as i started realizing this then the curriculum gather round came and i was already deciding to do unit studies and it was just a great fit then it was christian curriculum it had what i wanted it offered what i wanted um, as a unit study mama and it just fits really well with our family um, now most unit studies um, curriculums they don't include math and so gather around still um, they're trying to include math somehow but i would say that most do not include math math is a separate uh, subject that you could do through textbooks and so forth we use online courses like the two teaching textbooks and it works well for us and then we just dive into our theme lessons another thing I want to talk about is your state laws that really does kind of play a part in how you go about teaching your children because you want to be able to um, you know obey those state laws and so forth so here where I live in New Jersey is very very liberal so I have the power is given to me as a mama to just choose what I want to teach my children and how I want to teach it to them. There are some other states that are very much, um, uh, they're kind of more restricting when it comes to that. They want uh, portfolios. They want certain things to be taught and so forth. So in, in my case, we are very free here. So it works really well for me. So as you start watching these videos and see all the different types of approaches that you can have as a homeschool mama, um, and again, we have not covered all of them. We're literally just covering four, but there's so many more. And uh, I would say do your research, see what fits better for you. And remember, you're not gonna find out about it right away. You might and you might not. Like it, it took me six years to figure out that I was a unit study mama. And I had heard about the unit study approach uh, for years before that. So it's just a matter of finding out how you best teach what you love doing, how you love and how what works for your family and then just, you know, doing that. So I hope that these videos are helpful for you. I hope that the girls um, have also helped you and figure out the different approaches and kind of like understanding that there's no right answer. Um, like I said, I started eclectic. I loved eclectic at the time that I started to work well then. But now that I am homeschool unit study mama, it's just different. Things are different. We go about a day a lot different than we did years ago. And that's good too. So um, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If it was, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please do go watch the other girls' videos. And I hope to see you on the next video.